Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you're here to paint with us today. And we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. <laughs> we're painting fun carrots. So I want you to grab out all your supplies so you can paint along with me. We are doing acrylic this time. So if you're used to watercolors, I wanna show you something different. So we're gonna use this thicker paint and I have five colors I'm gonna be using. Be using red, yellow, green, blue, and this really pretty gold. Ooh. Fun. And then a paintbrush, your handy cup of water, paper towel, and then the fun thing that we're also gonna be using is that if you have Q-tips or cotton swabs, maybe you ask a grown-up if they have any, we're gonna be using it to make this texture on our Ooh, carrot leaves. Fun. So we are going to be doing that. Then Oh, a palette, so something just to put, it can be a plate, anything you have. And then I wanted you to I wanted to introduce you to our cameraman who is also part of this crew. So if you hear his voice, you might know him already. Hello. But this is Welcome. This is Keenan. Thank you for joining. <laughs> so you will hear him in the background talking to you and I. He might give us some fun facts about carrots. Yes. <laughs> so we are going to be painting our carrots. And if you were new here, I want to tell you that what we do is we, we say a motto, which is our saying that we do together. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <clears throat> and then you fist pump. <laughs> okay, now you're ready to do this. So. I'm going to hold my paintbrush and I want to show you what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be painting these beautiful carrots. Now, did you know that carrots can be all different colors? Did you know that, Keenan? I did know that. Yeah? They're, they can be beautiful. Yes, such a beautiful, and actually, if you have our box with us, you'll see on the back, there is a photo so that you can see what they what they look like in real life. Amazing. All different colors. So you might be used to orange carrots. That's usually what I typically eat if you also like carrots. But they can be yellow, orange, like we saw, and then red and purple. So different colors. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix some. So we have, we have yellow, we don't have orange. So what we're gonna do is we can make it. So I'm gonna open my red, open this up. And so this paint, is a little bit thicker if you're used to watercolors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my palette, I'm gonna dip in, oh, made a little bubble. I'm gonna scoop out, I'm actually gonna do, do, you can either do it in your well or I'm gonna do it on top actually. So I'm gonna scoop out, you don't need a lot. I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of red. So I did two different spots and then I'm gonna go and sweep the floor in my cup of water so I can get the red off because I need to ch change colors. So mm. I'm gonna get all my red off. So whenever you change a color, always remember to use your water. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my yellow and I'm going to put a little bit right there next to the red. And then, do you know what red and yellow make? Orange. Yes. So we're going to mix them together on our palette. Woohoo! That looks like ketchup and oh. mustard. That's God. fancy sauce. Oh, yeah, it does. I'll mix it together. <laughs> is this in the shot? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we have that. Great. So we have our orange. So now I'm going to go and clean my brush again. And you know what I just thought of is I want. Oh, I'll just use yellow. We have yellow and we have red. Okay. Now I want to make purple. So red also, so it's cool. Red plus yellow can make orange. Red plus something equals purple. Blue. Yes. Nailed it. Good job. First try. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to grab my blue. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scoop just a little bit out. Put it right next to it. Do you know carrots are really old? No. I what wouldn't do you mean have thought that? of vegetables as like old, but I found some facts. Yeah. Okay. Tell us. They used to be used as and grown for medicine, not food. 
Oh. Yeah. Whoa, that's yeah. really good. Because they have a lot of really healthy things in them. I bet, because they're really good for you. And so they're I can... tasty with ranch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Cool. That's a great fun fact. I know. I thought that was super cool. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. I have five <laughs> facts to share. Great. Throughout the tutorial? Yes. Amazing. Okay. So we have our colors mixed. Now I'm going to close up my blue because I won't be using that, but we will be using yellow and our red. So let's get ourselves all situated, ready to rock and roll. Okay. So you get to pick what color carrots you want. You are an artist, and so you get to paint however you want. I'm just gonna show you the way we can do it together if you want to do that. So, first color is I'm gonna pick yellow, because I really like this kind of rainbow aspect where it goes yellow, orange, red, purple. So I'm gonna pick up my yellow with my paintbrush, so I just dip it in. If you ever have too much, so see if I scoop it in, it's kind of gloppy like that. I'm just gonna use the side of this Kind of scoop it like that. Can you see that? Yes, I can. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. So with paint on my brush, I am going to make a triangle. Now, triangles have three sides, but they can be all different lengths. So what I mean by that is I'm going to make a really long triangle. So on the left side of my paper, which is this side, I'm going to start. And let's do this first. I'm going to draw a short horizontal line so across mm. and that's the top of my carrot right here can you see that yes then I'm going to draw this side so the left side but do you see how it comes to a point at the end so to do that I have a trick for you I want you to come in the center of your try of your line and just draw an imaginary line go woo, all the way down here <laughs> and then you're gonna draw a dot and you can make that noise whatever noise I just made <laughs> You draw a dot, then what you're going to do is you're going to connect the dot. So from here to here, I'm going to draw a line, and it's a diagonal line, which means it's at an angle. So can you see that? Yes, I can. How it made like that. So now I'm going to dip in. I need a little bit more paint. I'm going to do the other side, so I'm going to connect. Because like we said, triangles have three sides. So I'm going to go from here. Like a pizza slice. Yes. This is a really long, skinny pizza slice. Yes. That's a great way of looking going at it. Going to CeCe's Pizza and you're getting some thin sliced <laughs> pizza. Yes. So there we have it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to color it in. We're going to paint our carrot. Now with this acrylic paint, which is thicker paint, you don't need a lot of water actually. So you can paint when it's really thick. So I want you to paint it there. Now. I'm going to change color. So if you want to have two yellow carrots, you can do that. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip in and I'm gonna sweep because I wanna change my color. So remember, if you ever wanna change a color, you're gonna clean it, use my paper towel. Now, let's pick up our orange we made. I'm gonna do the same thing. Maybe I'm gonna change the height of it, which means I'm gonna draw a little bit taller. This carrot, this carrot's a little, a little bit older. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, so I'm gonna draw an imaginary line from the center. Keenan can do the sound effects this time. Ready, I'm gonna draw my imaginary I'm line. I'm ready. Okay. Mm. <laughs> There's my imaginary, or my dot, and then I'm gonna connect from here. <laughs> Get more paint, do the other side. <laughs> and then we're gonna paint it in. Love it. Now, let's do one more. Maybe let's do a really, really tiny one. Itty bitty carrot. Itty bitty. Maybe, oh, what if it's really, really tiny? Ooh, just a little guy. Just a baby. <laughs> Oak sound effects. I got distracted. <laughs> Ready? I'm ready. Ooh. <laughs> Itty bitty <laughs> guy. I like him. Now, pick up a little bit more. Let's do, let's just do one more. Let's see. So again, draw my horizontal line. Kane's gonna give us some sound effects. <laughs> Right. 
<laughs> I was just stopping whenever. He I was. I thought that's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was perfect. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna connect, draw one of my three sides. <laughs> one more. <laughs> ooh, the cool texture. Ooh, I See, like that. Ooh, I'm gonna leave that. Leave it. Our paintings are gonna look all different. Do you wanna know how old carrots are? Tell us. Okay. Carrots can be traced back about 5,000 years through historical documents and paintings. What? Yeah. 5,000 years? Yeah, no one knows exactly when the first carrots appeared because many people mistook them for parsnips. What are parsnips? A close relative to the carrot. Oh, oh. Yeah. Interesting. Thanks for the fun fact. Oh, you're welcome. I never thought to think how old a, a food is. Me either. You know? Now I'm wondering. All of different foods. Yes. How old are they? Me too. We can ask. Let's ask how old food is. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> imaginary line. Ready? Ready. Okay. You can you're gonna dictate how long this carrot is. Okay, perfect. By your noises. Okay, go. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. What if we name the carrots based on the different personalities and they all have different noises? Okay. This, this one's one? called DJ. <laughs> Love it. Painting DJ in. Okay, now I need to do it by purple one. So I'm gonna swish the bottom of my cup. Now your paint, if it gets a little bit dried up, that's okay. Maybe you add a little bit of water to it or add more color. This one is going to be really tall. Hmm. Okay, ready, Keenan? Yes. Okay, go. Ooh, that was a fun sound. That's fun. What's this guy's name? Mm, or girl? Henry. Henry. Wonderful. Old and wise? Is he wise? I don't know why I thought. Maybe because I have an uncle his, whose name is Henry. He passed away, but he was 101. Oh my That's goodness. That's my uncle Henry. That's Henry. He's the oldest one. <laughs> I love it. Fun. Fun. This is what you do with Peggy. You make it fun. Okay. Now, we are all set with our triangles, which are our carrots. Now, carrots have tops that are green. So, I'm going to swish the bottom of my cup. Change colors. And you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these so I don't spill. We're gonna need them in a little bit, but I'm gonna open my green. Oh, did you know that the green is sparkly? No. It has some metallic in it. What? So what we're gonna do is, if you look here, can you see how the carrots, they have these tops. So some of parts are skinny and the way it grows and then some of it has these leaves that come off of it. So they're all kind of different. I'm assuming it depends on where they're grown or maybe the types of them because there might oh. be different types of carrots. Has to be. So do you see how ours, they all, they all don't look the same. So what I want you to do is I want you to have fun here. So I'm gonna dip into my green. I'm gonna paint the tops. Now, if any of this is wet, what you can either do is you can let it dry or you can just have your hand be a little bit higher so I'm not smudging it. And I'm just gonna be really loose and I'm gonna actually give it some hair. Oh. That's kind of what I just thought of right now. Give it a nice haircut? Give it some hair. Okay. So you see how I'm just drawing these lines that are coming up from the center. Now, if you look, they all kind of come from the middle and then come out. So you can do it like that. Or if you want to do it all coming from, think of, I have this top right here. Maybe the hair comes out like that. Oh. All kind of different. So, Ooh, you could try and get that same texture uh, that you got that was more of like a dry stroke. Yeah. For the hair. Oh, the tops, yeah. yeah. So the dry strokes kind of come, my brush was kind of dry. So when you don't have water, it makes those kind of dry strokes. And I have a fun tip for you. Ooh. If you want to make other texture, so texture is just 
Think of this as this is kind of smooth and this has a little bit of texture where it's kind of rough, which we love. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this little baby one. Maybe I'll give him some hair. I'm gonna set my brush down. I'm gonna grab a cotton swab, which just has this tip at the end and I'm going to go up and down on the wet paint and give it more texture and leaves. That's super cool. Right? So it, it looks all different, which is really cool. And so because I'm doing it, some par parts have less of the green. So it makes this cool look. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to add some lines. That's a special hairstyle. <laughs> And also you can draw, you can paint with your Q-tip. You just want to oh. add more lines. Maybe you do that instead or as well. There we go. Ooh, maybe I want to give it. Oh, so because this one's kind of dry. Oh, shh. oh my gosh. That looks so cool Whoa. on that first oh. one. Ooh. Let's paint move saved. that. Oh, that was close. Yeah, maybe move your paint so they're not in a spot they could spill. Oh, that looks fun. Add more. So again, I went and got more paint so I didn't get any more water. I want to make this one really thick. I want to try this. What happens if I do that then off the side? Oh. Ooh. I don't know. I'm kind of having fun because you know how on our picture it has some leaves coming off the side? Yeah. I'm just kind of experimenting. So we do. So maybe I'll draw one and then it has li lots of little ones. Oh, yep. That's a good idea. Like that. That looked like an antenna for a second. <laughs> Great imagination. <laughs> do you know who Bugs Bunny is? Yes. Bugs Bunny, uh, the voice actor that did his voice, his name was Mel Blanc. Mm -hmm. He apparently did not like carrots. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah, shocking. Maybe he he grew to love them because he loved Bugs Bunny. That could be. That could be. That's why I love carrots. Because <laughs> of Bugs Bunny? Because Bugs Bunny. And I was told that they help your eyesight. I don't know if that's true yet. I have heard that too. <laughs> okay, so cover your tops with your, or cover your green because we're done with green. Now, we are moving and grooving okay we're on step six and so what I said I said look at the photo below do you see how is this an okay spot to see this photo Keenan yes it is okay so do you see how on your carrot there's these lines that are coming from it so they're kind of grooves or I'm trying to think of another term what would you call those lines 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 oh lines uh, I would call them growth marks growth marks oh that probably that might be what it is. That might be. I think of it is because carrots grow in the wa uh, in the ground, mm -hmm. and so because you have the dirt when they grow, I'm assuming the dirt kind of creates different textures. Yeah. That's just how my imagination works. I might not know. I'll look it up. Okay, Keith's gonna look it up. Grooves. That uh, yeah. We could call them grooves. That's what I think of. But we're we're this is how you become an artist is you kind of look and you see oh I noticed those lines I'm gonna paint them so. I see these lines, so I'm going to paint them. Now, what we're going to do is, if you see this one, what I did was we drew ours. We have gold lines and we have d uh, different color lines. So what I thought is, let's paint them a different color. So because we have yellow, if I were to paint yellow lines, you might not be able to see them. So what if we paint orange lines on the yellow one? So my orange might be dry. I think I have a little bit. You don't need that much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up my orange and I'm gonna draw horizontal lines, just really small. If you want some that go all the way across, you can. But do you see how I did them coming from the left and coming from the right? Now, the beautiful thing about Mother Nature is that nothing is perfectly made because it's made by our wonderful Mother Earth, not by a robot. So it has this this texture and beauty to it because we're all unique. So every carrot's gonna be unique. So my lines aren't going to be perfect. We don't, we don't do perfect here. So 
we have that. Now, if I were to use orange, so if you see if I use orange on my orange carrot, you can't really see it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my red, I'm gonna change my color so you need to wash off your brush, and I'm gonna dip in, I'm gonna do the same thing. Let me get a little bit more. Is I'm gonna come from the left side and just draw a line, maybe skip around how much space you want in between, then maybe in between the spaces, what if you draw one coming from the other side? Like that. Or you draw really small ones. Maybe you just go whoop, whoop, whoop in Ooh. any spot. Ooh, that one has a lot of texture. So the internet is telling me that those are called lateral root scars. Scars? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Is it from growth? That I do not know yet. That is interesting. Okay, lateral growth scars? Yeah. Or lateral scars? Lateral growth scars. Our carrots have seen some things. Wait. <laughs> yes, they have. <laughs> okay, so now the same thing is I have my red one, but if I were to paint red, I can't see it. So I have a little bit more purple left, so maybe we'll draw some purple lines. Ooh, mine had some water on it, so it has some different lines. Drawing some lines there. Then on our purple one, maybe I'll use my blue. Let's open up our oh, blue. Oh, this is really interesting. Okay, teach us. Okay. The question was, what does the lateral root do? Because okay. this is a lateral root scar, not growth star. Oh, okay. Scar, excuse me. Okay. So what does it do? They contribute to anchoring the plant securely into the soil increasing water uptake and facilitates the extraction of nutrients required for the growth and development of the plant. So they're there to help them. Yeah. I guess it's like whenever we fall and we a scar and a scab comes, that's there to help you heal. Totally. And remember how to not fall again. <laughs> True. <laughs> wow. Well. Yeah. Carrots teaching us things all over the place. Gosh. Who knew? I don't know. I love it. Okay, so while Kino's giving us some fun facts, you might have seen I closed all my colors because I'm actually done with all my colors. Now I just need to use gold. And we're gonna make some lateral root scars. Yes. There we go. That are gold, because why not? I love that idea. So we have some gold, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip into my gold. I'm gonna draw more on all my carrots. Let's give it some gold shimmer in any color. So I just kind of draw these little lines from the left and from the right. And you can see how loose we are when we're painting. And it's okay even if it goes outside the lines. We're just making some art here today. Wow. I like it. Those are popping. Beautiful carrots you have. Okay. Now I'm kind of hungry. I want some carrots. I was just going to say, you could totally make one of them look like you got a bite out of it. If you, <gasps> if you, drop, if you drop before, you could leave a bite mark on the side or the... We're going to do it. All right, cool. I think we can make it happen on one of them. On this mini one. Yeah. The mini one grew. The mini one grew a little bit. And we were hungry. You just got snacky. Okay, let me pick up more orange. Okay, so if you wanna make one look like it's eaten, let's see. When you bite out of something, it's removed. Uh-huh, it's gone. So, I'm gonna make this carrot a little bit bigger. And then draw some bite lines. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna make it bigger. We'll need to add some more lateral growth scars. <laughs> you got a little hungry. That's perfect. Does it look like it's been eaten? Yes, totally. Good idea. <laughs> Just a little nibble. Just a nibble. A little nibble. Okay. Yes, now let's give it some, some scars because it was growing. 
You could even do one where, say, you're preparing some carrots for to be in a roast, and you're you gotta uh, chop them, shave them. You gotta clean them first. Oh, so you, some of them might not have scars. You're saying right. So you could have smooth ones, oh. and on the bottom of the page, you could have lines of the same color that that carrot is, so it looks like shavings <gasps> of its skin. That's so creative. Thank you. See, there's so many fun ways that you can use your imagination to paint your ideas. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your ideas. You're welcome. Wonderful. Okay, now we're just gonna let this dry and then you're going to take a picture because Keenan and I want to see what you made. So you'll hold up and you'll smile. Maybe show us if you're eating eating a carrot. Maybe show us if you're eating yeah. a snack. Ooh, yeah, totally. <laughs> and so we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects where you can show us what you make. Maybe, oh, also if you named them. Yes, tell us if you named them. We need to name the other ones. And which one's the DJ, oldest? DJ, Henry, and their friends. And family. <laughs> and family. So thank you for being with us. I always love painting with you. And always remember that you are brave, kind, and very, very creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.